Hello, Internet. You might remember me from such other unboxing videos as a shitty cooler sticker review. Uh, shitty sticker and hat review. And uh, how to fix your furnace. What else did I do? Oh, some stuff like that. Oh, uh, tubing. I put that up yesterday or this morning. Um, so in the mail, I received my uh, Pelican Storm IM2306 case. Uh, they literally just ship it to you in the box Pelican ships it in because I guess they put them in good boxes too. Um, and on a lighter note, I got my uh, morale patch to shut up or just get in loser badge or patch. I just think it's cool and I'm a nerd. So without further ado, I got my unboxing psychic back to here destroying uh, like a duck wing, making a huge mess. And now we're going to open this box. And then we're not going to talk about what it's for because it's top secret currently. But we're going to look at the box. So I'm a big nerd for hard cases and stuff. Like my DSLR lives in this custom Pelican case. I'll show you this real quick. I'll show you it after. But we can look at that right now. So box comes open. It's a plastic bag. Uh, that will just easily slide off of the box inside. Keep away from children warnings. I guess, yeah. And then here we have the IM2306. I forget the specific measurements. They're probably on here. Um, oh yeah, here we go. In interior dimensions are uh, 17 inches long, 6.3 inches uh, wide and 6.2 inches deep. And then the exterior is 8.2 inches long, 8.4 inches wide, and 6.7 inches deep. And it's available in black and OD green. And me being a nerd, of course I got OD green. Alright, so here we go. Alright, now these are made, these, I'm pretty sure. Okay, this one's made in Deerfield, Massachusetts. I'm pretty sure the Pelican cases, yeah, or uh, Torrance, California. So it's still Pelican. Pelican bought Storm a number of years ago, I believe. Um, slightly different depression. We can actually look at them side by side real quick. So this case is uh, plastic. Feels a little bit thinner. It's a bit more of like a just like a ABS type thing. I don't, I'm not a plastic expert, like, but this looks more like a composite. Like there's stuff in it. It's just looks more like just smooth, pure plastic. But anyways, so the latches on this one are like a double throw. And this one has a small button. And then it releases. So at least from what I've been able to gather, this the protector cases, which is what these are called, are known as a like a, a more a more aggressive, like a, a, a tougher case. And these are still a tough case, but not quite as tough. They're still waterproof. Anyway, so open it up. All right, we have eggshell on the top that comes out, but it's, for, it's tight enough that it'll stay there. Uh, we get a warranty card. Oh, this is a Karen instructions. Actually, you dropped your, you dropped your thing. Get in here. Because the warranty should be lifetime. Yeah, Pelican limited lifetime warranty. So it's kind of like if anything goes wrong with it, they should replace it. I've heard of people breaking latches and stuff, and you just call them, send them a picture or whatever, and they send you new stuff. Uh, yeah, just a little brochure about stuff. Lots of guns and army people doing hardcore badass stuff. Uh, and their, their coolers on the back. And then I got the pick and pluck foam, which is all these little squares. Let's see if I can remove this. So there's two and there should be a thin layer of foam on the bottom yeah so this is like your base layer on the bottom and then you have two layers of this pick and pluck which are these little squares that you can individually pluck out to fit around an object of your desire to keep it protected so that's that right now and it seems like a nice case it'll grab onto your pants if you do that like I just did. 
Yeah, there's not really too much to say. They're just cool cases. Um, I think you can actually get like a rail system to go in this, like a, an edging. So you can mount like a panel or something inside here. But I'm not sure, this case might be too small for that. They're bigger cases for sure, you can do that. Or it might just be in the bottom, I'm not sure. Oh, actually one difference I'm noticing is that it has a full piano hinge across the back of the case, where the protector case only has the two smaller hinges, although I'm sh still very strong. Yeah, a bit of flex to it, but yeah, it seems like a good case. And that is my ghetto review of the protector, or of the storm. This is the protector, this is the storm case. Cut this tag off. The one take ghetto review. Yeah, like there's a little ding in here on the corner. I don't think I did that. Just like it got dropped or something and what, you know, when the plastic gets creased, it turns white. Just a little bit of that happening there, but, but I'm honestly not worried about it at all. It's very nice. So this is, yeah, so uh, and just to show my other Pelican case, this is my Protector 1400 case with the Tech Pack, I think they call it, uh, insert. And it holds my DSLR. And I have it all divided. And uh, so the camera itself and some lenses. And then that's a, a silica dehumidifier, so that it'll absorb moisture that gets in there. And this is cool because you can you can pull these pins out, and you can move move the stuff around to suit your needs. It was kind of expensive to set this up this way, but it's kind of like it's perfect now. So it's it's I like it. Yeah, and these things are great. This is like a memory card wallet. This is off Amazon. They're like five or ten dollars. This is a battery one, and uh, it has these little flags you can put in with the batteries. So if you know the battery's dead, you can turn the flag over and show red, so you don't forget to charge it. it shows dead battery. And then when you charge it, flip it over, show green in the window there, and you know you got a full battery. And it's a, it's a good if you as long as you do it, it's a good way to make sure that you don't you know. Go out with four dead batteries or something. Yeah, and a lens pen and some clean, lens clean cloths. And uh, and these things, these Night Ease reusable twisty tie things, I have a ton of these. They're super handy. And uh, I put them in everything. All my backpacks and stuff have them. I use them for camping, uh, holding microphones and stuff, or wires to microphones, and all kinds of junk. And then it needs holding to something else temporarily. Yeah, it's great. All right, well, that's the review of my Pelican cases. Actually, oh, wait, there's more. So this is a used Pelican uh, protector case, a 1400, the same size as this one. But actually, just like, I want almost think about messaging, getting in contact with see if they'll send me a new label. Um, but this was a used case I bought off a guy Market, Facebook Marketplace, and what he told me is he bought a whole bunch of them, but they were used for uh, like hard drive transport or something. So this is Pick and Pluck 2, and you can see it's already been picked and plucked. And so this has one big layer instead of two layers, but your base layer still, so you can pick it to the bottom, and you still have foam on all sides. And um, actually, I bought this case, I forget how much, it wasn't very much. But um, this is going to be the emergency kit for my boat, the Redstone Rocket boat. And because uh, they float, you can fill with water, you can go swimming underwater. If you can pull it underwater, you can swim underwater with them. Um, and yeah, so I figured it's a good indestructible way to have like a safety kit. And actually, fun fact, I believe if you have two of them, they're the same. Yeah, they lock into each other here, so. So if you stack them, you know, you can't. They stack nicely. They're not just gonna flop all over the place. Not that you could like, you know, ship them like that, but if you strapped them together, they wouldn't go anywhere. All right, anything else, Baxter?
That's it. All right, so don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, tell your mom, uh, and yeah, and uh, be good people and stuff.